Bella's great show. I, I love this. It's so many twists and turns. What was it about bringing this book to life and into a series? Um, for me, um, adapting it, I, it, it was the tone of the book. I think, you know, this introduction of Regis Patoff as a character and, you know, this kind of, this man that creates mischief and mayhem everywhere he goes, this, you know, he's um, a very curious entity. And so, yeah, I was attracted by that. I really, you know, bringing in a, a character who was going to have such impact, you know, in a sense, an antagonist and a hero in the same in the same moment, really. So that, for me, that was what attracted me to doing this. Yeah, and Christoph, you play him so well. It's so hard to get grasp what the character is, what you're doing, what's his direction, what's his motive. What was it to develop the character for this role? Well, same thing. It was hard to grasp where it's going, where it's coming from, what it's <laughs> what he's doing. But, and, and so I was busy. Thankfully, I had two fabulous uh, uh, partners to converse with and fathom the beast. Yeah. And Matt, the writing's so good. The, it's so good. It, it I did write it. Me. Tony did. Oh, yeah. Tony yeah. did. Yeah. But the writing is so good and the everything that's put together is so well done. What was, like, how fun is it to be in a part of a project where the writing, the acting, everything just seems to come together? Oh, it's a joy. Yeah, I mean, from the first time I read the script, I felt that I was in, you know, you know when you read something so beautifully written that you're in great hands. Mm -hmm. You're in great storytelling hands. You know, somebody has a, a strong voice. They know what they want to say. It feels fresh and interesting. And you're entertained, you're unnerved the whole time as you go. Uh, and the chance to bring that together with Christoph and with the rest of our amazing cast, um, all of our designers and department heads bringing it to life. It was really, it was a pleasure. And the one thing with streaming platforms is that it allows a show like this to exist. I, I think there's not many networks that would give this a chance. What do you feel about streaming platforms, especially like Prime Video, who are willing to take a chance on stories like this? Um, personally, I, you know, I think it's, it's what we need. You know, it's, you know, TV shows, I think are kind of like novels in a sense that we can do that. We can, you know, we can go on strange twisted rows. I think the days of when TV drama came down to just cop shows and medical shows and detectives, I think it's done, which is really kind of nice. It's allowed us to tell these stories and take a few risks. So yeah, I'm personally, I love streaming. You know, I think people like Prime Video and that are, yeah, doing a mixture of stuff, which is what we need. You know, it's not all just fits the same brackets. Yeah. I harbor a secret hope that the sheer um, overabundance of, you know, streamers and the quantity of, of material it puts the individual streamer in a position of um, having to really consider how to differentiate them themselves. And if they do it through quality, you know, the past years will have made a lot of sense, you know, I mean, to, to live through the through the what I consider you know uh, um, um, inundation of stuff where sheer quality by by far outweighs quality. So the the reconsideration of we need something specific, we need something extraordinary, we need something different, we need something for for people who actually have their brains switched on rather than the opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, and so chapeau uh, Amazon. <laughs> Buzz, that's my time. Thank you so much. Um, I love this show because it makes me, like you said, Christoph, it makes you think. It makes you question where the direction is. Such a great job, all of you. Thank you so much for stopping with us. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you.